YouTube. What the fuck is good? It's your boy, Professor Rich. Welcome back to the club channel, man. Like always, I appreciate everyone who takes the time to check out my content, check out my channel, especially the strangers. And while it's on my mind, shout out to my boy Luke and shout out to my boy Seth. They both they both cool as shit. And they got a little bit of nigga in them, man. Cause this how this is how I dap them up. It's smooth as shit, man. It's not it's not stiff. So I appreciate you guys, man. And I'm just gonna dive right into the topic. You saw it in the title. Nine times out of ten, that's why you clicked. And I'm just going to be talking about how I feel about New Year's resolutions. And I'm hoping it's not going to be a quick video because I got to go to work soon. But New Year's resolutions are bullshit. And I'm saying that because you shouldn't wait until a certain time of the year to do something for, I'm going to give you guys two months and stop doing it. You can you can do your New Year's resolution any time of the fucking year. You could already started this shit by now, but you want to wait and bullshit and try to calculate the perfect time and the perfect moment to do something. And that moment doesn't exist. You have to create that moment yourself. And the way I view New New Year's resolutions are you should be replacing a bad habit with a good habit. So that way it doesn't have um, a time a time stamp on it. It doesn't have a time limit. It's habits are something you do every single day without thinking about it. So when you wake up and you check Instagram, that's a habit. When you come home and the first thing you do is put your shit down and watch Netflix and don't go to the gym, that's a habit. Replace those bad habits with good habits. And I'm telling you, if you if you look at your New Year's resolution like that or that transition period in your life where you want to start something and really work on yourself, I guarantee you, you will see results because I've done this shit. I, I haven't replaced all my bad habits with good habits, but I've, I've taken out a lot of bad habits and implemented them on a daily basis to help improve my life and my productivity and all those you pretty much a success is a result of the small things you do every single day on a consistent basis that add up to the end result of your life and your idea of success can be it's different for everyone so your idea might of success may be having X amount of dollars in the bank your idea of my success might be having a certain type of car a certain type of health a a certain type of lifestyle. Me, my idea of success, ideally in the purest form, is how many people's lives I was able to help and change while I was here on this planet. Along with like some financial goals and stuff like that. But it's also me, me helping people and becoming the best version of myself on the way. And I don't talk about anything on this channel that I don't live myself. When I talk about doing 200 push-ups every morning and 200 push-ups every day, doing 100 pull-ups, 100 dips, I do this shit. And the results speak for itself. Do you think I'll be able to make at least one, sometimes I make three YouTube videos a day for my channel if I didn't replace the bad habits that were wasting my I was wasting my time doing every single day for productive habits. And it doesn't have to be anything simple. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything complicated. It can be something simple. Like for me how I started my self-discipline. I made a video on this shit too. You guys don't watch my my 30-day challenge videos on how to cure mental illness, on how to build self-discipline. The first thing I did to build my self-discipline was the first thing I did when I woke up in the morning was I made my bed. Simple as shit. Like the most like the most mundane thing ever. But something that I didn't like to do and it's something I, I never did. Now I make my bed every single day. Then you add on to that every single day. Just like if you if you have a goal on wanting to do 100 push-ups. 
if you've never done a push-up a day in your life, don't try to start day one trying to do 100 push-ups. Do 10, nigga. Slow the fuck down, nigga. Enjoy the fucking process. You know what I'm saying? Because everyone wants to rush shit so quickly, man, because we live in a, a day and age where everything is instant. Slow the fuck down, fam. For real. And enjoy growing. Enjoy becoming the best version of yourself. Like on Pokemon, nigga. They give you a Squirtle. The first... After your first gym badge leader, dog. You don't get a Blast Toys. Thing. You gotta... You know what I'm saying? You gotta work for that shit, bro. Life is like Pokemon, man. And I made an older video. I might post it just because... It, I don't feel like the quality is that good. Because I was... I was that was my early stages of the YouTube channel. I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable now. But for real, like the, this New Year's resolution shit, if you were serious about doing something this year, 2020, you should have already started. For real, for real. You don't have to wait until fucking January 1st to start a New Year's resolution. You don't have to wait for anything, man. Create that moment. And it might sound corny, but you have to create that moment because life isn't going to wait, isn't going to wait for you. You got to, you got to demand what you want out of life. When I talk about setting goals and shit, when I wake up every single morning, I look myself in the mirror, I say my affirmations and I figure out how I'm going to make the day my bitch. You know what I'm saying? You got to take control of your life. You have a lot more control over the success and the route you take in life than you think. And I say this from experience, man, because I tell you guys about my fuck ups, dog. Like my my job right now, I'm I'm not content with it. I'm happy. I'm grateful for it. But I'm not even supposed to be here, bro. There's a couple of times in my life I was supposed to be dead, nigga, or not here. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but not here. You know what I'm saying? I made a lot of mistakes, bro. And if I if I could change and replace my bad habits with good habits, I believe anybody can. Because my bro Vaughn, I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but he hit me up. And my bro Dirty Mike, man. Shout out, to, shout out to them, man. They hit me up because I started posting on social media again. And... Vaughn viewed my channel from the beginning. That was like one of my original subscribers. And he, he FaceTimed me and said, yo, bro, I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. My my boy Mike DM'd me and said, yo, bro, I just want to let you know I'm proud of you. I haven't been around, man, but I've seen your growth. And I'm happy that all the mistakes you made in the past didn't hold you back. He said some shit like that, bro. And that shit right here in my heart, bro. I felt that shit, man. Because there was even a point in time I was an asshole to him, man. I apologize for that shit, bro. Because as a man, you got to admit when you're wrong. And that nigga still fuck with me, bro. That's a real ass... That's my nigga. He's white, but that's my nigga, bro. He got some black in him too, man. So, just, just think about that. As the new year is coming up, write your goals out. I made the video on the importance of setting goals. And keeping track of your progress. And how you should have daily goals, short-term goals, long-term goals. And work on those things on a daily basis. And keep track of your progress because you... Working on something on a daily basis, you might not feel like you're making progress. Just like when I go to the gym. But if you keep track of it on paper, you'll see like, damn, bro. Like, I, I started here. And now um, I'm here. And my my man, Steph, I ain't seen him for like two, a couple months, I think, in the gym yesterday. He said, damn, bro, you got husky. I see myself every single day. Since you see yourself every single day, you're not aware of the process that you're making. But people on the outside looking in can see that progress. So, look, if... If you do want to wait until New Year's to, like, really get your shit together, turn the fuck up, get fucked up, drink, do whatever your vices is, and then really buckle the fuck down and get serious. And really be mindful on 
how you're spending your time and who you spend your time around. Uh, the only reason why I'm back on social media is for a bag, man. Like I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to use this shit to get some fucking bread, dog. I had to cut out social media for like a year or two just to focus on myself and stop comparing where I'm at in life to other people. Another big thing I had to cut out was some friends, some people that were that weren't good influences on me or we just weren't going the same route in life. And like when I say replace habits, replace lifestyles, like really look yourself in the fucking mirror. Really be honest with yourself. Ask yourself if you like what you see. And if you don't, change, dog. Like, and when you make the choice to do something, really fucking do that shit. I'm not sugarcoating shit for y'all. Really fucking do that shit because don't sell yourself a dream. Like, really, if you say you're going to go to the gym X amount of times a week, do that shit when you don't feel like it. Do it when you tired. Do it when it's raining. Don't make excuses about this shit, man. Take the self, uh, self improvement journey very seriously, because if you tell me you're gonna do something, and two weeks later I ask you about it, and you say, "Oh no, I haven't started. I'm just waiting," you're not fucking serious about it. Get the f get what that young thug, uh, the young thug and rich homie Quan. Get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Stop wasting my time. Real shit, cause I don't I don't have time to be around people that the uh, only talk about it and don't be about it. But I'm about to be fucking late for work, so be the fuck easy. I appreciate everyone for watching. If you got to this point, I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my content. Some of y'all really need to hear this, man. And happy Happy New Year's. Peace, motherfucker.